After a devastating EF2 tornado touched down in Portage Tuesday evening, the National Weather Service has confirmed the same storm spawned at least two other tornadoes in our state. That includes an EF1 tornado in Union City and another EF1 tornado in the region of Dowagiac, Twin Lakes, and Decatur. Several additional tornadoes were reported during Tuesday's storm but have yet to be confirmed by the National Weather Service's ground teams. They say they're also working to assess damage in St. Joseph and Branch counties, where they say signs so far point towards another EF2 tornado touchdown. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office and other leaders, though, now saying considering the extent of this damage, it's a miracle no one was killed. Truly is, but we know that eight people were injured, had to go to the hospital with some minor injuries. Uh, Elliot Grandia live in Portage this morning. Uh, we know where a lot of the worst damage is, Elliot, and uh, you're standing at what used to be a strip mall. I mean, it's half there still, but what else are you seeing? Yeah, that's right, Janice and Lauren. I mean, when you take a look behind me, the destruction is immense. Remarkable when you say that there were zero deaths and zero uh, severe injuries. We know that there was a number of folks that were sent to the hospital, but it's unrecognizable. This used to be a barber shop, a vape shop, a pizza shop, uh, and now it is absolutely destroyed. Uh, but now the real concern is those 100 families without homes this morning that are dealing with the rain and trying to find shelter and a place to stay. But there is a remarkable effort, though, to get them places to stay in shelter. So active, coordinated efforts throughout the community to find housing, shelter, and resources for everyone affected. Uh, one great resource uh, from the mayor is that hotline 211, designed to help with everything from housing to financial needs, food, water, all of it. And there's also churches opening up their doors as well. We are um, grateful for the outpouring of support uh, to our community and to our citizens. Rise above is the message that I think everybody can take away from this. Kalamazoo County, uh, Portage, the city, uh, all of these agencies are working together and we're going to work with our communities to make sure that we rise above. A consumer's energy spokesperson telling us the storm broke over 200 utility poles. We've actually seen a number on the property that we're at here and cut off electricity to roughly 30,000 folks. This morning, though, power has been restored to just about 90% of those customers. And we were talking with Consumers Energy yesterday. They are working around the clock to bring power back to everyone that needs it. Uh, but what's been really powerful, you guys, since the moment that these storms passed through was the community effort, neighbors coming out, helping each other, trying to get them the help that they need. Uh, uh, Red Cross, American Red Cross, also hosting a shelter spot there as well for those who lost their homes. And then we saw a reunion of sorts, a man reunited with his cat, Chico, after him and his wife lost their, in, uh, their home entirely. When I walked in, I heard him holler and went and got him first and then got him, got him into safety into the car. He got a... All right, you guys, and of course, again, that shelter is open for anyone impacted by that storm. It's located on Oakland Drive. I think I was saying Oakley Drive early. Oakland Drive, it is the first Assembly of God Church there, and uh, we're going to be uh, here all morning long in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit closer on the damage and showing the path of this F2 tornado that uh, tore through parts of Portage. Again, we're along Center Road, so we'll have that with Kevin in just a little bit.